27. Today here, you have Miss Sajid and Mrs. Abdul Karim. And today, we are going to show you how to complete task number three, in which you have to interview a family member and then write down your interview on a piece of paper and then upload it onto class charts. So, we're going to start off with some of the questions. And what you will need to do is exactly the same in where on your piece of paper, you need to write down the questions you want to ask your family member. So, my first question is, hi, can you please state your name and what your culture is? My name is Mrs. Abdul Karim and I am British Bangladeshi. Abdul Karim and I am sorry, British Bangladeshi. British Bangladeshi. Okay. Now, can you now tell me what is your favourite dish from your culture? Oh, that's a tricky one because there are lots of lovely dishes in my culture, but I think one that you will recognise is pilau and korma. I love that because it's creamy, it's not too spicy, and it's very aromatic. So pilau and korma. Korma, and your reasoning was? Not spicy. It is not spicy and aromatic aromatic now pupils as you can see when a person is speaking sometimes it's very difficult to catch up with everything they are saying so you can actually reword it and rephrase it to make it easier for you so number three what type of clothes do men and women wear in your culture so traditionally women will wear saris or younger women usually unmarried women will wear salwa kameez um, men usually wear Paisama Fanjabi, which is like your Shalwa Kurta. Um, so there's a lot of crossover with other cultures like Pakistani cultures. Oh, okay. So in terms of men, sorry, what do we say men wear? Uh, it's, we, we pronounce it Faizama Fanjabi. And how would you spell that? Budget, pajama, um, pajama Kurta. Yeah. So I'm right, Pajama Kurta. That's fine. And is there any distinction between unmarried and married men as well, like it's for women, or is it just for women? I think mainly for women, but what you'll find is if you go to Bangladesh, actually most people now wear a lot of uh, fusion clothing, so you'll get a lot of women wearing jeans, a lot of boys wearing hoodies and, and trainers, like in this culture. So it's become quite modernised yeah. in a sense. Yeah. Okay. Now, so as you can see, your sevens, this is how you will be setting at your interview. Now, the minimum we expect from you is about five questions. And for each question, you need to write a response that makes sense grammatically. So you do need to write in full sentences. If that means that you need to make notes at first and then rewrite it, then feel free to do that and then upload it onto class charts. If there is any question or anything that you still do, that you still do not understand, feel free to message your teachers and ask them to clarify any of these instructions for you. Thank you.